So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this: trapping rainwater. And this question has been asked in these many companies, companies like Amazon, Bloomberg, Microsoft, PayPal, Intuit, Oracle, Adobe, Uber, and so on. And this is a lead code hard level question. But today we are going to learn three different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end. Now let's see what the question is saying. So we are given an array where each element represents the height of a bar, and we need to find out how much water can be trapped between these bars after it rains. For example, if you look at this picture, you will notice that here six unit of water can be trapped between these bars. One unit, one unit, two unit, one. And one. So total six unit of water can be trapped here. Okay. Now let's see how we are going to approach this question. So in order to find out the total water that can be trapped here between these bars, what we are going to do, we will calculate how much water an individual bar can trap. For example, for this particular bar, this can trap one unit of water. This particular bar can trap two unit of water. This particular bar can trap one unit of water. Okay. So in order to find that, what we are going to do, we will do some observations. A bar can only trap water if it is having bars on both the sides that are having a greater height than the current one. For example, this particular bar cannot trap any water because it does not have any bar on the left hand side, so it cannot create any boundary. Same for this one. This particular bar cannot trap any water because it does not have any bar on the left hand side that is having a height greater than the current one. But if you look at this particular bar, you will notice that this bar is having a bar on both left hand side as well as right hand side with greater heights. So it can definitely trap some water. But how much water it can trap? We will check for each particular bar. We are gonna check. What is going to be the maximum bars on left hand side as well as on the right hand side with greater heights? For this particular bar, on the right hand side we have three with greater height, and on the left hand side we have this two with greater height. So for this zero, we have two here and we have three here. Okay, now we need to find out how much water this bar can trap. That depends on whatever the minimum we have from these two. It depends on that particular minimum value, and the total water depends on whatever the minimum we are going to get minus the height of that particular bar. So that much water that particular bar can Trap. For example, for this zero, we have this three and we have this two. This is left max and this is right max. So out of these two, this two is going to be the minimum. The total water that this bar can trap is minimum two minus the height of that current bar. Two minus zero means two. So this bar, this zero can trap two unit of water. Okay. Why only two unit of water? Why not three unit of water? Because this is very clear. This is just basic sense. Three unit of water cannot get trapped here because there is no such boundary that can store this water. The water will just get flow away. But here is a boundary with only height of two. So this two will act as a boundary and can help us to trap two unit of water. Make sense? Now let's see the first approach. 